Firebird. Ooh, Jeepster.
What did it What did it start life as? Uh, ten sheets of twenty gauge sheet metal. So this is this isn't something that was already there. This is something you created entirely by hand, yep, out, out of your own imagination. Yep. Now those headlights look familiar. I'm going to say those came off of a Porsche. Mini Cooper. A Mini Cooper. Yeah. Okay. And I noticed right hand drive. Yeah. Where do you put your left foot? At the end of my leg. <laughs> your pedals are that close to yeah, get. Wow. This is insane. Absolutely love this thing. And you 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 got Ford Power five liter underneath it. I really love that part. And yeah, that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I haven't worked it out yet, is the Ford full on the shape or the shape pushing the full? I don't know. They're, okay, they're working car, together yeah, uh, in tandem. In, in they're Prize, working in tandem. Numbers, yeah. three, four, this is gorgeous, three, man. Five, what, what color five, is this paint? Four, uh, it's just some stuff three, we mixed four, up in the workshop. You, just, you have no idea, five, you just four, started four, throwing colors in it? We just John Greenwood. John Greenwood from Bristol, Oklahoma. You're a winner. What do you call it? Peculiar Green. <laughs> we got the green because we were drinking beer out of green beer bottles at the time. Yeah. And we thought that would look really cool. So. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And the chassis is all custom built. Uh, I used Toyota frame rails, but everything else is all custom built. Take the Ford motor and the rear end. And, and, and you've got it on, on an air ride suspension or no, that's it's a static drop? <laughs> that's a, that's a right that is gorgeous. I'm just blown away by it. And you, you, yeah, all of this by hand. That yep. is that is incredible. There, okay, so there's the. There was day one. That was December 2009. Day one, making the body. Oh, so that that's the that's the firewall. Floor. No, that's the floor pan. Floor pan. Yep. Okay. There's the firewall, making the sides and the cowling, the dash before I made all the roof and put the roof onto it. Yep. So the the sides and the cowling are all welded together through here. Mm -hmm. He'll ham it up, so making the hood and there. So I, I made a door, but I didn't like the door skin, so I took that, made a new door skin for it to give it that shape that it's got now. Yeah. Mini Cooper headlights, so I had to make this to house the, the headlight housing, so big hole. This front vendor is six feet long across the top. A six foot long piece of sheet metal, and you just yep. hand rolled it. This one here is eight foot, this is the rear, that's eight feet long. Dang. Making the grill. We're having a beer because I've got the roof put on it. So <laughs> that's cool. And so, yeah, so December 2009 to March 2012. So I'm off. Uh, okay, so so this build is 11 years old, but it it looks like you finished it last month. It's, it's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we drive it. It's done nearly 30,000 miles. Yeah. That's why it still looks like it's only been done for a month because you drive it every yeah, day. This is this is an advertisement for your shop, which is yeah. obviously Big Shed Customs. That's great. Yeah. It, it's heck, I'd drive it every day if I could too. Yeah, absolutely. Except I'd put the steering wheel on the other side. Yeah, but right now it's on the right side, right? It's it's on the but it's it's on the right side. It's on the right side, but it's not <laughs> but on the correct side. But it's on the right side. It's not on the correct side. <laughs> We gotta go around in circles here, right? so, so how many hours do you think altogether you've got in, in this? Uh, between or three and a half and four thousand hours. Yeah. About there's probably about four thousand with all the little little bits and pieces that you gotta do as you're driving, you know, as, yeah. just the little things that just need attention or adjustment because you're driving. It would probably take me three and a half to four thousand hours just to do one fender. Oh. I, I don't have that level of patience. <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> Once you get into it, it's quite therapeutic, especially when you're doing it for yourself. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, it, is there anything else interesting on it that's not showcased in this, or is the interior? Did are those? Did you do the seats in house? Did you do the the? So all the dash, the center console, everything is all steel. It's all mm -hmm. fiberglass. And the seats are all built into the construction of the, of the body. And the upholstery, do you, you had that outsourced? Oh, I had a friend do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is crazy. Dude, I, I'm a little bit taller than you. I just, I don't see where I would put my left foot. Yeah, no, this, this, I, I made it for me. I made mm -hmm. it for me. So, you know, where I was comfortable at. So, yeah, everyone else, screw them. Right? I'm driving it. I can tell that's a Toyota column. Toyota yeah. steering column. Yeah, it's a Toyota steering column. It's got Mitsubishi master cylinder and brake booster and so on. Okay. The Ford engine, the motorcycle mirrors, Mini Mini Cooper headlights. So you you didn't go full on unibody here. 
So the cab is separate from the bed? Is, is there a reason you decided to do that? Or? But I do like how you kept the flow, and, and this just kind of pokes out right there. That's wow. Also, we've got some other car shows. That, is, that just goes all the way down. See, it's flat. Mm -hmm. Rolls up to about a kind of, yeah, just kind of just kind of gives it that old school, yeah. that old school step side bed yeah. feel where they were they were the, all slanted. I love the wings from the '60s, you know, the mm -hmm. thin things, whatever. Yeah, so just need to roll it in. The flames on the back. Did you get them? Oh, look at that! Are those stamped in? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. I just, you did this all by hand. That's insane. Yeah. And these tail lights, these look like they're actually clearance lights off the semi truck. That's smart. <laughs> and is the, the bed's actual wood? You, is that a is that a mahogany or a? No, this is a New Zealand native timber. It's called Mato. It's a hardwood. Mm -hmm. it's, this is its natural color. It's just got a clear on. Really? Yeah, this is natural color. So I could sand all that clear off and it would still be the same color. Wow. Yeah, it is awesome. That is gorgeous. Nice, nice. 